Good afternoon, it's 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the New Jerusalem Bible Study, a Tuesday night. Myself and Pastor Jones is here with you again. Invite your friends, your loved ones to be a part of this awesome Bible study. Don't forget that I need you to go over to YouTube and subscribe. This is, we only pushed for the last several weeks about uh, joining our YouTube family. We wanna make a good push, a good showing on the YouTube channel. So please, sir, please, ma'am, go over to YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank God for all of you that show up on Facebook, but join us on the YouTube channel just in case anything goes. We have a hiccup. We we'll always have that backup, you know, for things that, right. that keeps going. Uh, so please join us on YouTube. I uh, thank God for you on Facebook, but join us. YouTube every Tuesday night at 5.30, or you can download the New Jerusalem app from the Apple Store or the Android Store, and you'll really be connected to everything that goes on in the New Jerusalem family. God bless you. Let's get started, Pastor Jones. Yes, let's sir. Let's crank this thing way up, man. Yes, we sir. got a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> right. And uh, we pray God's mercy on us today. Oh, we're going to get it done. Let's get it done. Let's get a word of prayer in for us. Amen. Father, we do thank you once again, Lord God, for the privilege, God, is to expound on your word. And God, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Yes. So we ask, Lord God, that they receive the word and that their path will be made perfect and that they will walk in that direction. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and thank God. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 5, verse 6, uh, beginning at verse 6, because we covered 1 through 5 last week. So Romans chapter 5, verse 6, beginning yes. with verse 6. And um, we're going to read from the English Standard Version this time. Uh -huh. uh, it says, for while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Yes. Oh, God. I mean, <laughs> I, I, can't, I, can't, I almost can't do it. I can't. We had a plan, y'all. I was supposed to go through this without uh, interruption, but I almost cannot do it because I want to just deal with verse 6. Uh, so here it goes. Uh, for, for one will, um, uh, pardon me, pardon me, uh, dies for the righteousness person through perhaps for a good person, one would die. Uh -huh. uh, Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> Let me get through this. Even to die. But God shows his love for us uh -huh. in that while we were still sinners, yes, sir. Christ died mm -hmm, for us. Yeah. Since, since therefore we have now been justified right. by, the, by his blood. Underline that blood. I'm yes. going to come back. I promise you. Uh, much more shall we uh, be mm -hmm, saved by him from the wrath of God. Yes. For if while, for if while we were enemies, yes. we were uh, reconciled to uh -huh, God by the death of his son. Yes, Much sir. more now that we were, we are reconciled, shall we be saved by, watch this. Yes. His life. His life. More than that. Good God almighty. We also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ through, watch this, whom we have now received reconciliation. Yes, sir. Good God. I'm going to stop right there because that's a lot of ground to cover, but we're going to get it. I speak that in this session today. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Six says, for while we were still weak and at the right time Christ died, for the ungodly. That's you and me. That's you and all I, of us. I, I, yes. I'm not going, I'm not, because if I get there, I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to tell you, uh, before you were uh, what or when, yes, sir. Christ had already done. Yes, sir. That's all I can say. I'm going to keep moving because <laughs> yes. I'm going to get caught. I, I, I can't get caught. <laughs> I know you're for, right. <laughs> for, uh, for one will, uh huh, uh, Rarely die for a righteous person. Throw, throw, through perhaps for a good person, one would die. He says this, and uh, even to die. So he says, typically this doesn't happen. Right. Uh, nobody dies for another person. But, but God orchestrated so that his son, mm. Jesus, 
would die for all humanity. He, death, <clears throat> the penalty for what the first Adam did requires a life for a life. Yes. And so Jesus, now, 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 I'm going to say this. I, I can't help but to say this. Let, let me just say this. This is not, when, when the first Adam does what he does, this is not God's ultimate will. Mm -mm. What we're operating in, it's a prelude, it's a prelude. <laughs> what we're operating in is God's circumstantial will. Right. <laughs> okay. And not his intentional will. Uh-huh. So there, there are three wheels. You'll come follow me next week. Follow us next week, because we're going to hit this thing about God's will. There, but there are three wheels. But in particular, when we get to this this part of Romans, it's really God's circumstantial will. It's a wheel, and I'll sh we'll show it to you next week. It's a wheel within a wheel that God is working through okay, to yeah. ultimately come to his ultimate will. Uh -huh. But he does not prevent his intentional will from operating at the same time. That prevents the devil from ever winning. Uh -huh. Oh, I got, I, I, come on, we got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I, I, check, check, I'm telling you, this thing on God's will is go, God is so good to us. Yes, so sir. God is good to us. He says, rarely somebody dies for another. But then God has already, he says, eight says, but God shows his love uh -huh. for us yes. that while we were still sinners, Christ died. Yes, sir. Uh, he didn't just die, but he died for us. Right. He Since demonstrated. Yeah, he, he, he put it on the table. Exactly. He said, listen, this is where the rubber meets the road. Uh -huh. Since I've got to do it, I'm going to do it in such a way it don't ever have to be done again. Uh -huh. Because post or prior to Christ dying, mm -hmm. we had to use bulls, goats, yes. doves, red heifers, uh, you name it, they were using it to mimic the ultimate sacrifice right. of human life. Yes. And so now we're at a point where God has done, uh, Jesus has come and has, has died for the sins of all humanity. Yes. And so now we are going to be repositioned like we were mm -hmm. with the first Adam right. before <laughs> he commits this sin. Yes, sir. And we're going to talk about that too. We're going to, we, I'm just, I'm super excited. <laughs> Uh, to, to get this other teaching, but we got to, this is, these, I didn't realize these were going to be the baby steps to get me <laughs> over there, but God makes all things work for our good. I'm here to tell you that now. Uh, he says, uh, we have been justified by his blood. Mm. Now I told you to underline that, uh, we've been justified by his blood. Notice we are not justified through Christ's acts mm -hmm. or his deeds. I, I got you. We're not, we're not justified by that. Right. We're, we're not justified by Christ uh, stopping by Lazarus' house and exactly. raising him from the dead. Yeah. We're not justified <laughs> from the woman right. touching the hem of his garment. Right. We're not justified by him uh, uh, feeding 5,000. Th those are acts. It, right. He performed some acts. Yes, the sir. withered man with the hand. Uh, the little lad got 12 bought baskets after the meal was over. Um, none of that. Right. None of him walking on the water, him <laughs> saying, peace, be still. None of that right. is anything directly related to what we needed. He did those out of love uh -huh. and, and wanting to convey that God is a God that puts it right. Right. Oh, you old oh Lord, y'all don't know where to shout at. Y'all, listen, God is trying to put something right in your life. He is, uh, Pastor Jones, I will say this with, with, with unwavering faith. Uh -huh. That anything that goes crazy in my life is not the will of God. Oh, no, sir. Now, it may be occurred, it may have occurred 
or he may allow mm -hmm. because I did something. R choices. Yeah, yes. I made some bad choices. Yes, sir. I made some bad turns. Yes. And so these things came about exactly. in his in the in the wheel. Lord, I'm trying not to get in his wheel. Uh, but you you just you just don't blame God. And I can prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Now, one time I couldn't prove it. I can prove it now. Uh -huh. I can prove it. But, but, but nevertheless, the blood yes, has sir. justified it. It was the blood. Notice when, when and we'll, we'll read the scripture, uh, Jesus in the resurrection, when Martha and Mary and him have visited the tomb, yes, sir. he says to them, don't touch me. Right. I have not ascended to my father yet. Right. And that's because he had the blood right. still there. <laughs> right. And so if, 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 he, if they touch him, right. he, they would contaminate him uh -huh. and the blood right. so that he could not get to the father. Don't touch me yet. Hadn't ascended to my father. But when they see him the next time, yes. when he appears in the room and wants to know where uh, 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 Thomas is, he tells Thomas, touch me. Touch my hands, touch my side. Uh -huh. Give me some fish. I'll eat it. You know, right. I, I want you to know why. Because the blood had been applied. Uh, right. He had. He had <laughs> gone to heaven. Good God Almighty. Yes, sir. Thank God for going to heaven. He goes to heaven. Uh -huh. The Bible said and pours out his blood uh -huh. on the mercy seat. Uh huh. Good God. Now watch this. The Bible then t turns around and later on and says that the blood speaks for us. Yes, sir. The blood, the blood moan, it, it lets God know, man, good God, you, you, you don't know where you need to shout at, people. He says the blood speaks for us. That's it, right, it, sir. It, it intercedes. So when God, when God looks at us, yes, sir. he does not look any other way but through the mercy seat uh -huh. that Christ's blood has been poured over. Yes, sir. And this blood constantly replenishes itself. It, it, it right. just runs. Right. It's it, efficacious. Yes, yes. Oh, it's forever God. speaking. Ooh, good God. You know, oh, and, and Leviticus here, 17, 11 says the life of all flesh yes. is in the blood. It's in the blood. And so the life of Jesus is in his precious it's blood. My God. And my and, and, and but you know one thing I like about it, the blood ain't gonna never speak. I'm guilty. Right. Right. Blood ain't gonna never say I'm sick. Right. The blood always gonna say I'm healed. I'm healed. It's always gonna, gonna speak good things yes. on my behalf. Yes, sir. I just yes, want to get that in there. Yeah, no, you <laughs> good. You good. You good. And we need to hear that the blood speaks well of us. Yes, sir. Because we don't always do the best things. So you have. An intercessor. You have yes, sir. A, you have this item that's always speaking well of yes, you, sir. even though you don't do so right. <laughs> right. So when God sees you, He doesn't <laughs> see uh, you falling short. Right. He sees you overcoming. He sees you victorious. And the reason is because before he sees, he hears uh -huh. that the blood has already said, I'm more than a conqueror exactly. through Christ Jesus that loved me. Good God Almighty. You, you, you don't know where to shout at. You don't know where to shout. I know it's Bible study, but you can shout in Bible study. We won't tell nobody you were shouting in Bible study. You can have a good time. He says, much more shall we, uh, uh, pardon me, be, uh, oh God, saved by him who, uh, from the wrath of God, meaning that his blood justifies us, cleanses us, yes, puts us in the right standing. We don't have to worry about the penalty of God's no, wrath. No, sir. Because we have been forever cleansed by the blood. Yes, sir. We, Man, you don't know when you got it good. You do not know when you have it good. And when we clean, we can come boldly. That's right. To the throne of God. <laughs> right. Ooh. Good right, cause he don't see me. He, he don't see me. Cause my life is hidden, hidden. in Christ, good with God. God. Oh boy, you know, <laughs> okay. my God, man. We can't. I can't shout in here. I'm in this studio. I can't tear the stuff up in here. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, yet. Uh, but we, we. It's. I've been saved. He says in ten. For while we were still enemies, uh -huh. we were we were reconciled. Uh huh to God by the death of his son. He's further, he's saying the same thing right. and saying it in a different way it, yes. so that we all are able to hear it clearly. Uh, much more. He says, now uh, we are reconciled. Shall we be, shall we be saved by, watch this. Yes. His life. His life. More than that, he says, 
we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through, watch this, my Lord. Come on with it. Whom we have now received reconciliation. Uh-huh. Like he, we have been <laughs> gifted the gift of life. We have been placed. We were out of column. Yes. And now the Holy Ghost, mm, Jesus' mm, death mm. and blood has realigned the columns and realigned us so that we are having a right standing with our Father. That's, that's, that's right, sir. And we are now sons and daughters of God. Yes, sir. We don't have to be shamed. We don't have to be made ashamed. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. We are now seated in heavenly places. We are now a part of the royal family of God. And we have the ability to access heaven. Yes, sir. And access the Father mm. at will. All we got to do is call on him. He says, call on me and I'll answer. Yes. The Holy Ghost empowers us. And if you don't know what to say, the Holy Ghost says, I got you. Right. I'll talk to him for you. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll give him, I'll give you some on, some groaning, right. some moaning. It, it cannot be can't uttered. Can't be uttered, man. <laughs> right. You don't know. I, I, I can talk God language for you. <laughs> Now, though we actually speak God's language, there, right. there's another tone yes. in God that the Holy Ghost has that we don't have. Right. And so we can use our heavenly language yes, sir. when we need to really get in there and go beyond the veil and go beyond just talking because this particular language, and I'm just going to call it a love language for the sake of who yes. I am. Yes. Uh, this love language with God is so awesome that even the enemy can't understand it. It's just you and your father. Yes, spirit to spirit. spirit. My God, my God, my God. I, I gotta, I gotta keep. I'm trying <laughs> okay. not to get, get. Uh, I, I want to keep rolling. <laughs> yeah. So we got, we got time. I think we got some time um, that we need uh, to look at some more. He says, twelve. Therefore, just as sin came into the world. Through one man. Yes, sir. And death through sin. Watch out. Watch out. Yes. And so death sp uh, spread to all men because of sin, uh, all sin, for sin indeed was in the world. Oh, God. We got a problem. Before the law was given, but sin is not counted. The Bible says where well, the there is no law. All right, sir. Yeah, yet yeah. death reigned mm -hmm. from Adam to Moses, yes. even over those who sinned. What who? Apartment. Uh, those who uh, sinning was not like the transgression of. Watch this, Adam. Uh huh. Who was a type of the one who was to come. Uh -huh. So let's, let's, let's deal with that. Cause that's a lot to unpack and we're going to, we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it past. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so, so in this, uh, Adam, we got sin coming in the world and please be reminded that we are dealing with the prodigal and how this reconciliation yes. really works. Yes. And so we're really unpacking the ring of reconciliation still. And though we're dealing in this installation, uh, this is the, the, the last installment of this series of teaching, uh, but we're really dealing now with the ring of reconciliation. Yes. How did it happen? What does it mean to have this ring on that the father gave the son? Right. Remember, the ring had eight stones in it, which symbolizes mm -hmm. new beginnings. But then the ring itself meant something totally different. The ring itself meant that he was reconciled. Not only did he have you, cause you can't have a new beginning until you fix where you had come from. So he puts a ring on his finger with eight stones. He's reconciled and he has a new beginning. Mm -hmm. He has a new beginning. So, so we're, Paul is unpacking. How did we get here? How do we get reconciled? And so now he's telling us yes. what goes on to make us unworthy on the front end yes. so that you have an appreciation for your positioning right. on the back end. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. sir. You got to know that, that, that the first Adam messed us all up, 
before we got here. We didn't even have a choice in the matter. Right. He had already done what he did and caused sin to come into the world and spread to all men, the Bible said. All men, don't matter if you black, white, polka dotted, man purple, men, humanity itself exactly. was messed up yes, sir. because of Adam's sin. And then he says it spread not only to Adam, to Moses, even uh, over to those that were sinning who did not uh, like the first Adam's transgression. They didn't, in, in other words, those that fell after the first Adam sin, but they did not sin necessarily in the same fashion, manner, or degree right. that the first Adam did. The first Adam committed treason almost because he disobeyed in such a way that he was the governing body mm -hmm. in the earth realm. And so he went against, uh, let's, yeah, I can use this, this is real easy. So if you were a ambassador for the United States yes. and you gotcha. went to London uh, as a representative yes. of your home country yes, sir. and you took papers, uh, papers that were deemed classified and you gave those papers to the uh, foreigner in London, uh -huh. that would be high treason. Yes. You took something that was specifically deemed valuable to your home country and you gave it to a foreign entity. Good, oh Lord, that's the Holy Ghost right there, boy. That, that thing there, he said he'll make it all things. So you'll remember, he'll bring it back. He'll give you some teaching. Government. <laughs> Lord, help me today. Uh, so, so what happens, Adam took what was rightfully the kingdom of God. Uh huh. It was deemed classified. Right. It was deemed valuable. And he took it and gave it to a foreign country, the kingdom of darkness that had not yet been established, but it becomes established because not only the, why does it become established? It becomes established because Satan had not developed. He had only been here a short period of time because Jesus says he saw him fall oh, from heaven right. like a great boat of lightning. Right. Man. He, so he had been here but there was, you know, Adam is here now representing the kingdom of heaven. Yes. He's, he's in position. He's in kingdom position. And so when he commits this treason to give dominion and power, how does he do it? By disobedience, mm -hmm. through disobedience. He, he eats from the, from the tree that had been forbidden from him. He eats from that and it causes a whole world to shift a whole climate system, a whole ecosystem to shift. And when this occurs, uh, the, the power and the positioning yes. that Adam had yes. had to be transferred to the kingdom of darkness. Yes. And what's so interesting about that is God, uh, I don't believe, um, God is, he's disappointed but he's not surprised no, no, because he's God. Yeah, right. He had already, the Bible says yeah, yeah. Christ had been slain before, before the foundation of the world. <laughs> right. he, had, he had already knew what Adam was going to do. Right. He knew, listen, so I, I tell people this about God. The, the God is so amazing. God, God is so good at what he has done. He has written every, every page of how life is gonna play out. And then he's so designed. So, so, so let's put you, let's, let me give you God. God would be a great movie executive. He wrote the script, mm -hmm. he hired all the characters, and he makes sure that everybody right. plays right. their part, <laughs> right. including right. the enemy. Uh -huh. So this is why, I think I better say this to Come somebody to listen to me. This is why you are not to fret yourself of evildoers. Because in due season, they will soon be cut down. Right. See, you, 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 you're, you're stressing over people. So those of you that's watching and listening to us today, you're stressing over people on your job. Let me help you with this. They are needed for your next promotion. <laughs> Them people that's getting on your nerve, they need it for your next development. 
people that are, are just, just always riding you and telling you what you can't do and what even your folks in your family, they are needed for your production. You, your next character is going to be developed due to the uh -huh. fact that the trouble you are suffering. Because remember now, all these things produce character, produce perseverance, uh -huh. produce hope. Hope doesn't disappoint. Right. See, if you want to go up, you got to learn how to get level to the ground. And what that does is that produces a humbleness. Yes. So you don't want to you don't want to get up there and forget where you come from. I see people, and I know people that's got a lot of money, and uh, that some of them are very humble, and then you got some that are not, because they didn't get it uh -huh. through hard work. They got it through some type of inheritance. So you know they just figure I've been entitled to this. This is who I am. This is what I do. But you don't have the value that comes with it when you produce it on your own because faith produces a characteristic yes, in our lives. Good God. I got, I got to keep moving. I got to keep moving. We're going to get there. Are we going to get there. So Moses and them, all of them have done what they need to do. Verse 15 says, uh, but the free gift is not like the tra the uh, trespass. <laughs> he says, for if many died through one man's, trespass, good God almighty, <laughs> much more have the grace of God and the free gift uh, by the grace of that one man, Jesus uh, Christ abide for many, for many, for many. Yeah. He says, if one man messed it up, right. <laughs> Now you got God <laughs> and his son. Right. Now I want you to notice something. I'm, I'm always a stickler for this when I see it in text. Uh, notice the fact that he uses how he writes. He says the free gift by which gra uh, grace of that one man. Uh -huh. Watch what he does. And he calls his name. He says Jesus Christ. Because there again. Yes. These are two, two distinct personalities. Right. Two distinct actions that Christ is going to perform. Jesus is the man um, that has to die and be raised from the dead. Yes. Christ is God's man after Jesus' body has been uh, depleted of the blood and been presented right. at the uh, mercy seat. So now you've got two distinct personalities, but he has to use both, both names right. to get the job done. Right, dear time. Good God yes. Almighty. Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah. Good God Almighty. Uh, so we, we know that Christ is going to do uh, for many, for many. Now, what's interesting is. Come on. The word here, many, does not mean all. It could have been. But the problem we've got is that everybody's not going to accept him. <laughs> That's what John said. Doug, do you he hear said, me? But as many as received him, him, to them, to them, he gave. He gave. <laughs> Doug, you, you better hear me. You better receive Jesus. If you've not received Jesus, you need to receive him right now. I don't care. I don't care nothing about the open beer can that's sitting on your table. I don't care nothing about none of that. You need to receive him. You saying, Pastor, uh, listen, um, God can't use me the way I am. Yes, he can. Stop lying to yourself and stop letting the enemy lie to you. You're in the perfect shape for God to use you right now. You're depressed. Come on, let God use you. You're thinking nobody loves you. Mm -hmm. Come on, let God use you. You say nobody cares about you. Let me tell you. God can use you. You're in the perfect condition for a visitation from the Holy yes, Spirit sir. right now. He will take you just as you are, yes. weary, wounded, and sad. Yes. Let me tell you, I found in him a sweet old resting place, and he has made me glad. <laughs> On Christ the solid rock I stand. Yes, no sir. other ground <laughs> is secret. Good God Almighty. I'm telling you. You got, you're looking for a reason to not be saved. I'm going to give you one that you should be saved. He died for you. He died for you. 
You got 10,000 reasons you shouldn't be in, in church. You should have 10,000 reasons you don't have to go to church. I'm going to give you one reason you can't do without church. He died for you. And rose for your yeah, justification. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 God's waiting on you. God's waiting on you. God's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. <laughs> well, listen, let me wrap this up because okay, we, we coming to the end of this train. Uh, much more one was those who received uh, the abundance of grace, he says, uh, and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Okay. Then 18 yes, says, sir. therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of mm -hmm, uh, righteousness led to justification and life for all men. Yes, sir. So we got it. <laughs> That's a, we got it. We got it. That's a rejoicing. I, I shout the victory. <laughs> yes, sir. I was over there on the other side, didn't have no Savior. But thank God, yes, Jesus sir. and the Holy Ghost yes. found me right where I was and brought me back so that I was able to live a good life yes, in sir. Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Justified through his blood. And the son, the prodigal son, experienced all of these acts through one man. Through one man. He leaves home. His dad gives him what he asks That's for. That's good stuff. And when he comes back, his dad gives him what he needs. See, he got what he wanted to leave. But coming back, right. he got what he needed to live. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> yeah, he got what he wanted to leave. Right. But in coming back, he got what he needed to live. Right. Because he says, my son was dead. Yes, sir. And now he's alive. Yes, sir. Well, listen, God bless you. God, thank you. I thank God for all of you guys that view every single Tuesday night, you have an opportunity. Everybody's busy. I understand we're trying to still juggle and figure this thing out with this uh, pandemic. I pray that you and your family stay safe and sound um, through this fall season. Listen, we're, we're headed into the flu season. Take care of yourself. Build your immune system exactly. up. Exactly. Do whatever you need to do. Visit your local physician. Make yes. sure your kids and yourself, wash your hands, mask up as we transition into a flu season. Uh, keep yourself safe. And then when you do all you can do, right. you let God and the Holy Spirit yeah. do the rest. Yes, sir. You pray over your kid. You anoint them. Right. You anoint yourself uh, and keep yourself healthy and strong uh, as we enter into a new phase of this pandemic uh, and a new phase of the flu season. Listen. I'm so excited. I thank God for you. Please don't forget to go to the YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we uh, uh, want to increase our numbers and viewership on our YouTube channel because we want to do more things on that platform. So, But I can only do it if you go to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification so that I know you're with us as we're going forward in this new fall season. I thank God for you. Listen, if you're looking for a church family, a church home, you can call the number that's going to appear on our screen and uh, you can call that number. Someone's there to pray with and for you standing by to hear your testimony. If that be the case. Also, if God has blessed you and you want to sow a seed uh, into the Bible study, I would thank God for you partnering with us as we plan to do more exciting things as the year uh, comes to a conclusion. You know, we're we're right at it. Uh, we only have several months yeah, left right. in 2020. And uh, I don't know what next year is going to hold, but I thank God I know who holds next year. Right. Uh, I, I'm going to be around if the Lord's will. So uh, I'm super wonderful blessed because God has really touched us and richly blessed our Amen. lives. So listen, uh, I, my time is all gone. I thank you. Don't forget to join me next Tuesday as we prepare to go into God's will. Man, I'm excited about that. Get yourself, uh, make sure you block some time out. If you don't catch me live, catch me on the replay. Right. Uh, look forward to it. Don't forget Sunday at 1045. You can always catch me right here uh, on the uh, outlet that you're seeing me right now. Facebook, YouTube, uh, some additional platforms we're working on to do as well. 
uh, stay tuned. We got a big announcement for those things too. We're gonna be trying to do Twitter live. We're gonna be trying to do Instagram live, but I need your help. I need numbers to uh, tell me that I need to be on those platforms. I can only do that by you sharing and creating uh, a followership with me. Well, listen, my time is all gone. This is Pastor Sanders, my brother from another mother, Pastor Viotis Jones. Uh, been with me from the almost the beginning, huh? <laughs> yeah, since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so we've been here hanging out. Thank God. Uh, thank God for you guys. Remember, we're only here because we've learned how to live, love, and, and serve. serve. Attention family and friends of New Jerusalem Full Gospel Baptist Church. Join us October 18th, 2020 to commemorate our 55th church anniversary here in our hometown of Flint, Michigan. Come celebrate with us 55 years of worship, community service, fellowship, brotherhood, and triumph as we continue to serve our community with abundant gladness. Like our Facebook page to learn more about this historic event. October 18th, 2020. Celebrate the new J55 church anniversary. We really hope that you enjoy today's Bible study lesson. It's always a great word. We ask that you stay connected by going to the Apple Store or the Play Store if you have an Android phone and download the New Jerusalem Full Gospel Baptist Church app. Or you may text in all caps N-E-W-J-F-G-B-C to the number 54244. Contributions may be made through the Givelify, Pushpay, or PayPal. Or you may also text to give by texting the number NJMG to the number 54244. If you need prayer or to connect with someone, there's always someone standing by at New Jerusalem Full Gospel Baptist Church to assist you at the phone number 810-787-8311. We really hope you enjoyed today's service.